Hey, what's going on, everyone? So this is my first video, official long video back on YouTube in a while. I've been posting shorts because it seems to get more engagement with my audience. But anyways, this is my unboxing of the Walmart-style mag grip, 1,000-pound capacity, whatever else you want to call it. A lot of people are saying that this is just like a ripoff of mag grip. And in some ways, I would kind of agree with that, you know. I always thought that Mad Grip was a new company and that Walmart just kind of played into the principles of this being uh, their own version or a knockoff of it. But then when I go on YouTube, I see that this company's had videos and reviews out for the last 10 years. So is it is it a ripoff of it? I mean, they've copied a lot of the style, but that's like saying Titan and, you know, is copying Rogue for the series that they're putting out for squat racks or even like their lat pull down bars and vice versa. You know, everyone everyone samples off of someone in any industry. So with that being said, this is just the Walmart's version of this style of lat pull down. What I will say about it is there's a, a smell that comes from it. And it's it hung around in my basement for about a day or so. It was kind of powerful and it even left the residue of, of the smell on my hands and what you're seeing with this box is pretty much what you get it's all wrapped up in some thin bubble wrap and there's no like like peanuts or anything like that like foam padding inside of it it's just just the box and the bubble wrap itself not too much more to say about that it's uh it's not surprising because the bar itself is actually rubberized and I know some people have posted pictures of them dropping this, or at least after they had just recently dropped it, and there was some chipping or, or rubber pieces that fell off for the bar itself. Well, what you get are the five pieces. Uh, it's over $100 regularly, and got this for about $75. Like I said, there's five pieces. You got one large bar. You got two medium-sized ones and then two smaller ones. And the the website for this, it shows them just using this from the top cable for a lat pull down. I know some people use the smaller ones for like biceps and tricep workouts, but primarily from what I gather from this is just mainly for your lats and for the lat pull down machine or like, like low rows. Another issue that I've seen from this is the big bar that I have right here, the grommet that's on it. It doesn't really work with traditional like spring hooks or or whatnot. You need like a U bolt or like some type of specialized fitting for it. Uh, I have some bare butt hammock straps, and the carabiner I have for that actually works out pretty well. So here's all the different sizes I tried, and then the bare butt hammock strap carabiner. So you just hook it up to the top, and it's the shape of it actually works out really well. I think each one of these hooks can hold about a thousand pounds, but yeah, there's a smell. It smells funky. Like you definitely notice it. And then we just start off with the widest bar and wind up working our way down to the, the smaller ones. After using this for a couple of times, I started to appreciate the movement a lot more. I was kind of wondering, you know, what the difference was with this and a traditional uh, pull down bar or like a close grip bar or something like that. And honestly, I, I don't really notice too much of it other than like hand position. Uh, if you have bad wrist, I guess the, the neutral and, and the pronated grip will probably help you out a lot. But in general, you know, this wouldn't be my, my first go-to to purchase something. But I mean, it, it's 70 bucks for five bars and it's a hard deal to beat, you know, anywhere. Here we are looking at it from the perspective of a low row. I really did have a lot of fun making this video uh, for review purposes. You know, I've been doing this setup and, and, and these workouts with this bar now at this point for a couple of days. So I'm only pulling about 120 on each of these, but it's successive back-to-back -back workouts just to try and get the, the angle right and, and everything else. But I digress. What do you think? Do you do you own one of these or, or do you do any type of work like this? Is this something that you would purchase? I know there's a lot of people that would prefer to have the the mag grip style instead of this one itself. What you can do for me is just leave a, a like or a comment down below. Uh, subscribe to my page and check me out on Instagram. I'll talk to you next time.